is up my dudes, this is Praises here, and today I bring you guys another tutorial. This one's a little bit different than other ones that I've been seeing around. This is how to make your own font, your own custom font. So I'm going to first show you guys a couple of brush settings that I use to make like a nice graffiti font and this, that, and the other thing. So let's jump right into it. So you don't need any special brush, you just need like the basic set or whatever they gave you on Photoshop. Just like that. Uh, doesn't really matter, but you go into the brush settings, uh, go into brush tip shape, and then bring down your spacing to lower single digits. Doesn't have to be one. Doesn't have to be one. And this is really I use a stylus for this one. It makes it a lot easier to make, especially like custom, uh, custom fonts and such like that. But you can still do it with a mouse. It's just a little bit more difficult, especially when it comes to. Uh, the whole uh, being able to use the next tip which is the shape dynamics and you want to go to pen pressure that's what a mouse kinda lacks which they can't really do so so anyways so those are about the two that I would use and then you go back to the brush sh tip shape and then bring that radius down a little bit and then turn it that way you got more of a a slanted so you can I don't know, like this that look just looks better than it's thicker when you go to the side. You can really put it any direction, doesn't really matter, but just depends on like your writing style. But like I tend to I'll probably use that one. But uh it just really varies on how you hold your pen. So after you have that set up you go online really quick and you go to myscriptfont.com and I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this or you've even thought about making your own fonts but you go to this.com I'll put a link to this in the description but you scroll down and it will ask you to download the template which I normally do as a PNG save it to my desktop Wazing sent there file open uh, and let's see, right here, and you just open it. What you can do, there's mul multiple ways that you can do this, is you can either go into a blank and a blank, uh, a blank portrait, and you can just draw one on here, but what you want to do is you want to match this up, so since you see this is like a light gray that says capital A right here, you want to make a capital A and put it in there for whatever like font style you want to do. So for this, I'll just make something like, I don't know, you can really make whatever you want. I'm not, I'm not like super awesome at making fonts, but I'll make like a star type one. And what you want to do is do something like this, but make sure it's like black or a dark color or else it will not show up. So there's an A and you want to drag it. And then you kind of you gotta shrink it into the box. Do something like this, and then there is the A, and that's what will show up in a little bit. And I'll show you guys how to do that. But you want to do a few of those. Do a B. Oops. There's my B. That's cool. I like it. So we'll go bring it over here. Oops. Bring it over here. And then you just go along the like the lines. You can do as many as you want, but I'd probably I would suggest that you would do the whole alphabet, like uh, capital letters and lowercase letters. But go all the way down into like whatever you seem fit. But you could do like all like the little symbols, like asterisks and the at symbol and cash sign and all that. But you don't have to. You can just go up to whatever you want to do. But they won't show up on your keyboard if you don't have them on there. So the, the other way that you can do this is just by drawing on the on the form so if you guys wanted to just do that way then that's okay too but either way I think this is a really cool thing I don't see very many people making their fonts anymore but I've always enjoyed making it I've, like, I've made like two or three fonts but besides that so after you're done with this you want to save it as a PNG 
or JPEG, doesn't really matter, but after that is done, cancel that out. You can save these if you want to, but you don't have to. But you go back to the myscriptfont.com and then it will say upload a file and then you click choose a file and then you upload the image that you saved to your to your desktop, the ones that you filled out on Photoshop and then you upload that and you can name your font whatever I can just make this crazy tutorial whatever and you want to save it as a TTF I'm not sure what, what the other is, it might just be for Mac or something, I'm not quite sure but then you click start and it will save what like the letters that you made and I'll save it right here as a TTF file and here I'll show you how to download it really quick because I've also been asked how to download fonts and then you click on it it'll download save it bring it to your desktop and then you right click and click install and then you'll have it but make sure that you're not in Photoshop while you install it, or else you can't have it but hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial this is really easy to do and I think it's really cool to do on some of your artwork especially with, if you can do calligraphy or whatever but really personalizes your own uh, creation so hopefully you guys enjoyed thank you guys again for the awesome support on my youtube channel lately it has been sick it is awesome thank you and with that said I have nothing else to say so Hope you guys had a safe holiday or holidays and hope you guys keep your New Year's resolutions. So I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.